It's a bit interesting. Researchers at University College London have identified the five most important life skills for living a happy life and enjoying your time and aging gracefully. Before we look at the list of five life skills, keep in mind these three points. A. All five of these skills work together. You need each one of them to be successful and to be happy. Just mastering one skill is not going to do it. B. These five skills can be cultivated. If you feel like you need to work on one area as we cover these, it's not a big deal. Just remember every one of us can make improvements and becoming your best self is a process. However, what's important is that you make sure and give yourself a growth mindset. Don't feel like you're stuck with a fixed supply of skills that you can't change. And see, these five skills can be developed at any stage in life. If you're already in your golden years, there's still enough time to make positive changes. And if you're younger, you can benefit from having an earlier start. Time marches on for all of us, and we want to live the best life we can in life's journey. If this is your first time here and you're interested in good health and gracefully taking charge of your world, subscribe now, hit the notification bell, and don't miss anything. Let's look at the five most important life skills that science says are needed for our happiness and success. We're going to list each one and talk very briefly about how to enhance and develop that skill in our lives right now. Stick around to the end of the video as we'll include some resources that will pair nicely with these life skills. First up, here's a list of the most important five life skills. Number one, conscientiousness. And here's what you can do to work on that. One thing is pursue goals. Set goals for yourself that are challenging and feasible. Setting goals gives you long-term vision and short-term motivation. What's great is setting goals helps you trigger new behaviors. It helps guide your focus. And by having them, it helps you sustain that kind of momentum in your life. So try to break down a big project into smaller steps and then evaluate your progress as you go. Enjoy the journey and celebrate each success so that you keep your morale and motivation high. Get organized. One of the most important benefits of organizing your space is reduced stress. Simply having a more efficient system to keep track of your papers and appointments can help minimize stress influence conditions like depression or ulcers or heart disease. So eliminate clutter, simplify your routines, and approach your work systematically. You'll not just reduce stress, but you'll find that you're also going to accomplish more. Fulfill promises. Earn a reputation for living up to your word. When we don't keep a promise to someone, it communicates to that person that we don't value him or her. But keeping promises to yourself is just as important. When you make a promise to yourself, you're taking the time to work toward improving your life. Your relationships and self-esteem will grow stronger as you do this. Second skill, emotional stability. Okay, what do we mean? How do we approach emotional stability? First thing is accept your feelings. The first step in managing your emotions is to embrace them. Be compassionate with yourself so you can acknowledge what you're feeling and make rational choices about how to respond constructively. Care for yourself. Look out for number one. Keep yourself in top shape. Eat a great diet, exercise, sleep well. We've got a good playlist on the nutritional value of various whole foods that you can check after this video. Be mindful. Focus on the present moment. Mindfulness practices can help us to increase our ability to regulate emotions, decrease stress, anxiety, and depression, even lower blood pressure, and improve sleep. So engage fully with whatever it is that you're doing right now. Be here and now. And at the risk of sounding a bit woo-woo, you might even want to try meditation. Seriously. It actually has a lot of benefits for your health and well-being and even aging. There's a lot of science on it now. It's showing these benefits. It's for real. Give it a try. We have a video about meditation that you might want to take a look at after this as well. Just what are the health benefits of meditation? We'll put a link in the top right corner up here so you can come back to it after you see this video. And let me add this, if you're anything like me, 
meditation can sound really far off and even difficult. I mean, maybe even a bit mystical, but I'm telling you, it's not. I was pretty skeptical about meditation and just didn't think I had time for it. Now, I can't imagine not doing it. I'm telling you, it's one of the best parts of the day. And I know that sounds weird to say. But listen, we are not meditation teachers here at Own Your Biome. If you're interested in exploring meditation, there are plenty of resources online, on podcasts and books and magazines. It's all over the place. Our point is that we just want to say it doesn't need to be a big deal. And it can really have a good impact on your life if you do it on a regular basis. It's good for your brain. It helps your breathing. It's a heck of a lot more. Pretty incredible benefits, and they're well documented. Okay, number three, determination. How do you work this skill? One thing is avoid distractions. Turn off the TV and limit the hours you spend browsing online. Sure, that can be hard, especially in today's world. I get it. But stay focused on your priorities and how you can make your dreams come true. If you get in the weeds, just ask yourself, what does each moment have to do with you getting to a better place or to where you want to get? Overcome obstacles that are in your way. Take a look at self-limiting beliefs and replace them with more encouraging self-talk. That little voice in the back of your head. Work on it. As best you can, learn from setbacks and delays. The fourth life skill, control. Leverage your strengths. Understanding your strengths and how to apply them makes you more powerful and resilient. Just figure out what you're good at and what you like to do. Take your time doing that. Slow down. When you're planning your schedule every day, give yourself adequate time to complete each task and take a breather in between. Relax, chill, enjoy the moment, the present, the ride, the journey. If you get in a situation and you feel rushed, just pause and reconsider your options. Take a deep breath. Manage impulses. We've all got them. Consider the long-term consequences of your actions. Be willing to set aside immediate gratification in favor of more substantial gains. If you're about to give in to temptation, shift your attention elsewhere. I don't know, maybe it's a favorite song that makes you feel good. Whatever it is for you, whatever the distraction, it's just about focusing your attention elsewhere and taking control of that monkey mind. Just reset, refocus, and this will make it easier to resist eating a cookie or making some kind of unkind remark five minutes from now. Fifth life skill you need to work on, optimism. Count your blessings. Be thankful. There is so much to be said about gratitude. It's good for your soul. Be thankful for what you have. Express your gratitude. One fun idea is to keep a journal just for recording happy events and kind actions that you might otherwise forget. Let others know about the positive difference they make in your life. And just take a moment to stop and really think about those who mean the most to you and what they represent in your life's journey. Seek support. It's easier to have confidence in yourself and your future when you know that you have your loved ones on your side. Put aside time to nurture family bonds and close friendships. Ask for help when you need it and be ready to return the favor. What goes around comes around. You'd be surprised at how many of us are ready and open for better bonds and just good conversations with those closest to us. Deepen your faith. Spiritual beliefs offer strength and comfort during difficult times. Adversity teaches you to have greater compassion for yourself and others. Connecting with the divine, whatever that is for you, helps you to put events into perspective and remain hopeful. Increase your share of conscientiousness, emotional stability, determination, control, and optimism. Those five things increase, you will enjoy greater health and well-being. Work on them. Grow them, sustain these skills for the rest of your life, and own your biome.